Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today, Nick and I, I don't know what the, are you peeing? Um, today we are shooting the bow. There she is. We are hunting tomorrow and I need to practice anyway or I wanted to come out and practice anyway, but that's all the more reason to get outside and shoot my bow. So I'm really excited. It's been a while since I've shot, and we're gonna sling a couple arrows. It's a beautiful day. And then we're gonna fish too. But first, archery. I forgot a ponytail, but I can shove it in my hat. Looks like I am shooting a little bit to the left. Round two. Two of those felt pretty normal. One of those felt wild, and I know exactly which one it was. So groupings, let's see. This one was obviously the wild one that I knew the second that it released. Those two are about the same spot that my first grouping was. So that is enough evidence to me that I need to move my sight because it is a little left right now. So we'll follow the arrow and we'll move the sight a little bit to the left. I'm gonna try and do my release a little bit differently this time. I know I tend to smack the trigger. I'm very comfortable the way that I shoot and I've never wanted to change it like mid-season. And I know I'm, I'm hunting tomorrow, but I think that this sort of off period, like February, March, is going to be a really good time for me to practice my form a little bit better, to slowly release, smush it like a marshmallow. I don't know if you guys have heard that, that saying before, but. I'm gonna try a couple. Did that look better? That one I think I still pulled a little bit here, but, but better. So tomorrow, we are going to hunt with some friends who are down in this area. We're going to be hunting for deer, but also scouting for turkey a little bit, but primarily it will be a deer hunt. And according to our friends, um, Ryan and Kaylin, we will be walking a bunch. We're not going to tree stand hunt or stationary hunt, so it'll be more like a still hunt, which I'm very excited about. Like still hunting in Florida, that sounds super cool to me. Let me show you. So this is what my group looks like when I am releasing a little bit differently. It is not as tight. It's interesting because my groupings are tighter when I punch the trigger, we'll call it. My sort of, the way that I'm comfortable pulling the trigger and when I try to shoot with form that is more correct my groupings aren't as tight it's obviously because I'm not used to it which is why I'm normally so hesitant to change during the season but for the off season it'll be a great thing to practice and hopefully I can improve my form and improve my accuracy but for today my my normal shot will definitely have me killing a deer if we see one tomorrow. Now, it's off to the next adventure. <laughs> We 
are back at it again on these little suburban canals. Can you hear Nick casting? I'm not sitting in a good spot. I'm like getting sprayed by all the water as he casts. But he had a couple hits. We changed the lore based on what we learned from that guy. And yeah, so I'm feeling, you totally missed that. My turn, my turn, my turn. First fish on a fly in Florida. He's a sweet little bass. Maybe the smallest fish ever, but that's so cool. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. Nick might actually be catching it. <laughs> he just missed another fish. <laughs> but we will see you guys in the next video.